Good day class. We will discussing today about the introduction to technopreneurship. Technopreneurship can be described by discussing first the term entrepreneurship. What is entrepreneurship? The question can have several answers. But it is considered as a process of achieving something profitable but with risks involved. It is both the study of how new businesses are created as well as the actual process of starting a new business. These terms can be used interchangeably. Entrepreneurship is the ability and willingness to develop, organize, and manage a business venture along with any of its risks in order to make a profit. Entrepreneurship seeks to understand how opportunities to create something new arise and are discovered or created by specific persons who then use various means to exploit or develop them, thus producing a wide range of effects. What is entrepreneur? The word entrepreneur comes from Latin. Entre enter, pre before, neur nerve center. Taking its derivation we could understand entrepreneur as someone who enters the nerve center of a business that no one entered before and then makes changes to it that results in a paradigm shift in the whole process. An entrepreneur is the one who is willing to take risk in any business endeavor. Entrepreneurship is the art of finding an opportunity and then pursuing it to success. As a saying goes brilliant people also see the same things that others do but they observe things that others don't. It is the same with entrepreneurs also. They come out with ideas that others don't think about and that is why they become successful. He or she must have the innovative mind to start a new business. Somebody who shifts economic resources out of an area of lower and into an area of higher productivity and yield J.B. say quotes by Drucker. Emphasis on doing something different, moving from a low productive environment to higher one. The key to entrepreneurship is doing that thing differently which moves you up the value chain. Peter Drucker An entrepreneur is someone who has an idea and who works to create a product or service that people will buy, by building an organization to support those sales. Why be an entrepreneur? The biggest reward of becoming an entrepreneur is the personal satisfaction that comes from having the freedom to make your business decisions and then act on them. Making your own rules, when you own a business, you get to be your own boss. Doing work you enjoy, since the majority of most people's lives is spent working, why not spend that time doing something you enjoy? Creating greater wealth, there is no limit what an entrepreneur can make. Helping your community, being an entrepreneur lets you make your community and world a better place. Risk of being an entrepreneur. Potential business failure. Being fully responsible means the success or failure of your business rests on you. Unexpected obstacles. Problems can happen that you don't expect. Financial insecurity. Many new businesses don't make much money in the beginning, so you may not always be able to pay yourself. Long hours and hard work. It's not unusual for entrepreneurs to work a lot of extra hours to make their business successful. This is especially true during the initial startup process. Characteristics of successful entrepreneurs. An aptitude is a natural ability to do a particular type of work or activity well. An attitude is a way of viewing or thinking about something that affects how you feel about it. Entrepreneurs tend to be people with positive attitudes. Characteristics of successful entrepreneurs. First is the personal characteristics. The characteristics every entrepreneur must possess are the following, courage, creativity, curiosity, determination, discipline, empathy, enthusiasm, flexibility, honesty, patience, and responsibility. Then the next characteristics is skills which define as an ability that learned through training and practice. Every entrepreneur must have the following, business skill, communication skill, computer skill, decision-making and problem-solving skill. Mathematical skill, organizational skill, and people skills. Increasing your potential. 
increasing your business and entrepreneurial potential by focusing on six specific areas. Business knowledge, reading magazine and newspaper articles, search the internet, and talk to business owners. Financial skills, strengthen your math skills. Career exploration, evaluate your strengths and weaknesses, explore careers interest you. Community awareness, look for volunteering opportunities and find out if any companies in your area provide internship programs. Education, obtaining a good education benefits you personally and open doors to more career opportunities. Relationships, spend time with people who believe in you and inspire you. Types of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Cultural entrepreneurship. International entrepreneurship. Ecopreneurship. Social entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship in agriculture sector or agripreneurship. Technopreneurship. On the next slides we will understand each types. What is entrepreneurship? The term intracorporate entrepreneur was introduced by Gifford Pinchot in 1973. It was later revised as intrapreneur. The term intrapreneur was officially recognized in 1992 with the definition given in the American Heritage Dictionary. Accordingly, intrapreneur is a person within a large corporation who takes direct responsibility for turning an idea into a profitable finished product through assertive risk-taking and innovation. Four elements are essential for the success of intrapreneurship. There should be the right structural and strategic environment within the organization. Employees should have an atmosphere of freedom to interact with each other and share ideas, and promote their spirit of innovation. A suitable workforce of enterprising people should be built. Talents of the employees should be recognized, their skills should be trained, and they should be motivated. Employees should be encouraged to collaborate and network naturally since each employee is interested in the bright future of the organization. Successful employees should be suitably rewarded, while they should not be penalized for their mistakes. If there is a work culture of sharing and trust, it will encourage the employees for further initiatives. What is cultural entrepreneurship? Cultural entrepreneurs are cultural change agents and visionaries who organize cultural, financial, social, and human capital, to generate revenue from a cultural activity. Cultural entrepreneurs create, produce, and market cultural goods and services, generating economic, cultural and social opportunities for creators while adding cultural value for consumers. Cultural enterprises are diverse in nature and size. They range from micro, small and medium enterprises to large firms. Cultural entrepreneurs have the goal of leveraging business for the betterment of society. They create and share cultural products like visual art, music, and film, stories, and games that present new ways of understanding social problems. What is international entrepreneurship? International entrepreneurship is the process of an entrepreneur conducting business activities across the national boundaries. It includes exporting, licensing, or opening sales office in another country. The main purpose of international entrepreneurship is to satisfy the needs and wants of target markets. International entrepreneurship is defined as development of international new ventures or startups that from their inception engage in international business, thus viewing their operation domain as international from the initial stages of international operations. Importance of International Entrepreneurship There are 10 importance which are the following. Lower manufacturing cost. Increased sales and profit. Cultivating the Habit of Customer Relation Management, CRM. Utilization of Talent and Managerial Competence. Opportunity for Growth. We will discuss each importance. First Lower Manufacturing Cost. International entrepreneurship can help to bring out products at lower cost. If the manufacturing cost of a product is high in home country, 
the same product can be produced in another country at a lower cost. Thus, the product can be made available at a lower price in the international market. Second Increase Sales and Profit International entrepreneurship helps to increase sales and profit. When demand for the product of an entrepreneur decreases in local market, he can sell his product in international market where life cycle of the product is in favorable condition. Thus, he can earn more profit. Third Cultivating the Habit of Customer Relation Management CRM. Internationalization of business will teach entrepreneurs how to cultivate habit of customer relation management. In the process of satisfying foreign customers, an entrepreneur has to produce products as per their quality expectations in national and international markets. Fourth Utilization of Talent and Managerial Competence When businesses are not able to get required talented workforce in country, they can get the activity outsourced to a foreign country, or can hire employees and make use of managerial competence from there. Continuation on the importance of international entrepreneurship. Advantages of cheap labor. Expansion of domestic market. Globalization of customers. Globalization of competitors. Improves the image of the company. We will discuss each importance. Fifth opportunity for growth. International business is one of the primary platforms for expansion and diversification of any business. Successful entrepreneurs are always interested in expansion and diversification of their business activity. They get ample opportunities for growth in international business. Sixth advantages of cheap labor. For every business, quantity and quality of labor is a major challenge. If the labor is cheap in foreign countries, the company can outsource its activity to those countries, where cost of labor is cheap. Seventh Expansion of Domestic Market International business causes domestic market to expand beyond national boundaries and market their products in international market. By using new technology and marketing efforts, entrepreneurs can have a brighter growth potential for the future. 8th Globalization of Customers When customers in a country prefer purchasing foreign brand products than domestic products, companies have to go in for internationalization of business. It will help the companies to keep in pace with competition to attract customers. 9th Globalization of Competitors International business increases the opportunity for the survival and growth of entrepreneurs. It also motivates companies to face competition from global entrance in market, which leads to growth of market, pursuing global standards. And lastly improves the image of the company. International business improves the image of the company in domestic market and attracts more customers in domestic market and keeps them loyal to the company. What is ecopreneurship? Ecopreneurship also known as green entrepreneurship is most simply referred to as the development of enterprise through entrepreneurship, while incorporating an environmentally responsible perspective into the operations and goals of the entrepreneur. According to Gwyn Schuyler Ecopreneurship, also known as environmental entrepreneurship and eco-capitalism, is becoming more widespread as a new market-based approach to identifying opportunities for improving environmental quality and capitalizing upon them the private sector for profit. Ecopreneurs are entrepreneurs whose business efforts are not only driven by profit, but also by a concern for the environment. According to David Kane Rath states that an ecopreneurial company is a company in which three ecopreneurship concepts manifest as the convergence of three main concepts. Eco-innovation. Eco-opportunity. Eco-commitment. Importance of ecopreneurship. The entrepreneurial activities in case of ecopreneurship give less focus on management systems or technical procedures. It gives more focus on the personal initiative and skills of the entrepreneurial person or team to realize market success with environmental innovations. It adopts highly environmentally responsible business practices and values. 
continuation of the importance of ecopreneurship. It emphasizes a social perspective while considering an innovative solution through the commitment of ecopreneurs. It replaces the conventional production methods, products, market structures, and consumption patterns with superior environmental products and services. It is characterized by a high degree of creativity, collaboration, and social orientation. What is social entrepreneurship? Social entrepreneurship stands for recognizing a social problem and using entrepreneurial principles, processes and operations for effecting a social change. According to Professor Muhammad Yunus, social entrepreneurship is any creative and innovative solution applied to solve social problems. Importance of Social Entrepreneurship Along with social problems, social entrepreneurship focuses on environmental or cultural issues. It plays the role of an agent for change in the society by adopting a mission to create and sustain social values. It is a process of continuous innovation, adaptation, and learning. It means acting boldly without being limited by resources in hand. Its success is measured not in terms of profit, but in terms of social welfare. What is entrepreneurship in agriculture sector slash agripreneurship? Agriculture sector plays a formidable role in the sustainable growth and development of Indian economy. Developing entrepreneurship in agricultural sector is known as agripreneurship. Agripreneurship or agribusiness includes all operations involved in the manufacture and distribution of farm supplies. The importance of agripreneurship. Agripreneurship employs entrepreneurial skills, models, and innovative ideas to economically solve problems in the agriculture sector. It increases the profitability of the farming business. It solves the challenges related to information dissemination, farm management, capital availability, mechanization of farm and the agriculture supply chain. It provides an innovative solution to some of the critical agricultural issues like crop productivity and input cost for agriculture. Continuation of the The Importance of Agripreneurship It solves the problem of wastage of crops caused by lack of storage facilities and improper management of supply chain. Use of digital technologies such as remote sensing, geographic information system, GIs, Internet of Things, IoT, coupled with data-driven decision-making and analysis can improve farm productivity, minimize farm wastage and increase farmers' income. Digital technologies together with data analytics in every stage of the agri-production life cycle make farm activity more insight-driven potentially more productive and efficient. And lastly in the continuation of the the importance of agripreneurship it helps to achieve progress regarding food security, accessibility, and affordability. It generates employment opportunities and enables the use of local resources. What is technopreneurship? Technopreneurship is a combination of two words technology and entrepreneurship. Technopreneurship is entrepreneurship in a technology-intensive context. It is a process of merging technological and entrepreneurial talents and skills. In the transformation of goods and services, technology is used as an integral part in technopreneurship. Technopreneurship is a new breed of entrepreneurship. It involves coming together of people who are intelligent, creative, technology savvy and passionate and have an appetite for calculated risk. Also known as cyberpreneurship or netpreneurship or technology entrepreneurship. Cyberpreneurship is a business activity and business by using improved computer technology, especially the internet, in this business and businesses that are promoted using electronic brochures, known as the homepage on the internet. Four types of technopreneurship. Incremental, routine business, modest industry. The best example is new coffee shop. Imitating, imitation of a venture, same business model. The best example is new regional branch and franchise operations. And template. Rent seeking, 
business that utilized standards, regulation, and laws to share in value of an enterprise or trade secrets. The best example is licensing of patented ideas, products, or trade sequences. Innovating, business type based on innovation. The best example is new cure for infection diseases, new DVD format and ICT enhance home appliance. Technopreneurship mainly focus on high-tech ventures in ICT, electronics, internet, life services, and biotech. Service firm where technology is critical to their mission. Delivery or design of high-tech products like computer hardware or devices. Uses of technology in the delivery or conduct of normal business activities. What is technopreneur? A technopreneur could be understood as an entrepreneur in a business related to technology. It is generally seen that a technopreneur generally has some kind of proprietary and patentable intellectual property rights that he commercializes and reaps benefits out of it. Technopreneurship is a term which is generally used for software companies. Technopreneur can be defined as an entrepreneur with the skills and mindsets to deal with a knowledge economy. Technopreneur, people who shift economic resources up the value chain. A technopreneur is an entrepreneur who is technology savvy, creative, innovative and dynamic, dares to be different and takes the unexplored path, and very passionate about his work. Significance of Technopreneurship In a dynamically changing global situation, technopreneurship plays an important role due to the following features. It generates employment. When startup businesses, then there is an increase in the pool of job opportunities as they need manpower to run all business operations. In the same way, technopreneurship creates jobs and helps the nation to combat the problem of unemployment. It increases the employment rate of an economy. It makes the best use of local resources. Various natural and productive resources are available that every entrepreneur can utilize for business success. The usage of local resources increases its value and reduces the rate of resource wastage. It decentralizes and diversifies business. An entrepreneur can find out the business opportunities and locate them in areas that are suitable including remote areas. It promotes technology. By being a creative and innovative technopreneur, they play an important role in the field of utilization as well as the development of technology. It forms capital. Investment is an integral part of a business and an entrepreneur requires funds to start up and take their business to the new heights. They take financial assistance from the investors and financiers and utilize the public savings that lead to economic development. It promotes an entrepreneurial culture. The young generation gets a chance to work with such technopreneurship firms and learn nuts and bolts how to get success. It also inspires these teammates and employees to grow and start up their business firms too. How to become a successful technopreneur. Build a team. Technopreneurship is the combination of one's technical expertise with entrepreneurial talent. However, the base remains the same. When you have a brilliant idea, then it is the best time to find out the support and if you do not have the technological know-how, then hire a tech savvy. If you have prowess in technology, then you need a marketing expert. This is not a one-man show and you always require support to turn the idea into reality. Boosts problem-solving skills. Being a technopreneur, you ought to expect troubles at every turn. Especially, in the beginning, you may tackle operational changes, funding, and also, regulatory obstacles. So, it is necessary to have problem-solving skills. If you failed in the real plan, you should pre-plan with an alternative. Moreover, there is also a need to analyze the cost, time, manpower, and resources needed for various avenues. Don't forget to calculate the expected returns. The decision on the final strategy. 
Decision making is a significant skill that every technopreneur must have. After getting an estimate of fers and against all options, you have to pick up the best strategy that is cost effective as well as commercially viable. Don't baffle yourself by changing your plans again and again. Last but not the least, the final stage is to implement the idea such as launch the product or service or platform you have been putting efforts on. Hard work is not the only thing for being a technopreneurship but it also needs the determination to make a certain idea work. You ought to modify your idea or brainstorm for an innovative one, as it is required. The main focus of technopreneurship. High-tech ventures in information and communication technology, the internet, life services, electronics, and biotech. Service firm where the main mission is technology. Designing of high-tech products such as computer hardware or devices. Use of technology in the delivery of normal business activities. What is value chain? Automation of manual processes. Example is the payroll. Improving a value chain is eliminating the middleman that incurred the cost of product hire to the end customer. Going up the value chain does not mean that the product or service has to be complicated but that the customer sees real benefit. Inventors and innovators. What is invention? A new or improved product, material, component, device, machine, system, or process, synthesis, treatment, fabrication, method of manufacturing, discovered as a result of study or experimentation. Inventions that are novel, unique, useful, and non-obvious to someone skilled in the art can be patented as compositions of matter, process of making, or field of use. Invention is a completely new product or service, a patent, or a breakthrough. What is innovation? The act or process of commercializing an invention or introducing something new or improved that creates value in the form of a commercial product. Innovation requires people using new knowledge and understanding to experiment with new possibilities and using sound collaborative decision-making tools in order to choose and implement new ideas. Innovation is the turning of all ideas, big and small, into successful outcomes. It's the implementation of ideas generated as a result of the creativity supporting culture. What is creativity? Creativity is having ideas, the spotting of an opportunity or inspiration. This definition includes both incremental, small, change and breakthrough thinking. What is entrepreneurs? Pinchot, 1985, defined entrepreneurs as dreamers who do. Those who take responsibility for creating an innovation of any kind within an organization in 1992, the American Heritage Dictionary acknowledged the popular use of a new word, entrepreneur, to mean a person within a large corporation who takes direct responsibility for turning an idea into a profitable finished product through assertive risk-taking and innovation. Dictionary.com defines an entrepreneur as an employee of a large corporation who is given freedom and financial support to create new products, services, systems, etc., and does not have to follow the corporation's usual routines or protocols. Cook, 2014, goes further, claiming that entrepreneurs are the secret weapon of the business world. Based on these definitions, being an entrepreneur is considered to be beneficial for both entrepreneurs and large organizations. Companies support entrepreneurs with finance and access to corporate resources, while entrepreneurs create innovation for companies. The entrepreneur is not to be confused with the entrepreneur, a person who aims at personal fulfillment more than at economic gains when creating a business. For entrepreneurs the primary motivation is the need to implement their vision of something the world needs, something that aligns with their values. A person within a large corporation who takes direct responsibility for turning an idea into a profitable finished product through assertive risk-taking and innovation. It is the act of behaving like an entrepreneur while working within a large organization.
Entrepreneurship is known as the practice of a corporate management style that integrates risk-taking and innovation approaches, as well as the reward and motivational techniques, that are more traditionally thought of as being the province of entrepreneurship. Starting a business generally requires the following. A business concept or idea involving a product, service, process, or new technology. People to support the work, whether as employees, vendors, or advisors. A process by which the product or service will be delivered, or the technology will be developed. Enough money to support the development of the idea to the point that it generates revenue. According to research by Cox Business, the main reasons entrepreneurs go out on their own, rather than staying employed, are Control, to be their own boss Ambition, to start something from scratch themselves Financial, opportunity to earn more money Starting franchised or familiar business is not entrepreneurship Why? Because it is already with a concept However, a person who came up with the concept, and invented the franchise system for that concept, is the entrepreneur. Actually, small and medium-scale businesses are often called the pillar of the economy especially in the community level. National and local government unit policies that encourage the growth of small and medium-scale businesses and the role of entrepreneurship in the market are considered to be healthy for the economy at large. Entrepreneurs and their impact on jobs and economic growth. The pros are the following, entrepreneurs boost economic growth by introducing innovative technologies, products, and services. Increased competition from entrepreneurs challenges existing firms to become more competitive. Entrepreneurs provide new job opportunities in the short and long term. Entrepreneurial activity raises the productivity of firms and economies. Entrepreneurs accelerate structural change by replacing established, sclerotic firms. And the cons are the following, only a few people have the drive to become entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs face a substantial risk of failure, and the costs are sometimes borne by taxpayers. In the medium term, Entrepreneurial activities may lead to layoffs if existing firms close. A high level of self-employment is not necessarily a good indicator of entrepreneurial activity. Entrepreneurship cannot flourish in an over-regulated economy. Differences between entrepreneur and technopreneur. There are similarities and differences between entrepreneur and technopreneur. Their similarities are Identify needs build products, mitigate risks, and take the products to market. The two have differences between entrepreneur and technopreneur, such as As entrepreneur they, likes to compete, is a self-starter, is able to do many things at once, is creative, and has dreams and goals, likes to work for him or herself and be in control is motivated by a strong desire to achieve and attain financial success, focuses his slash her attention on the chances of success rather than the possibility of failure. As for technopreneur they, likes to innovate, is part of a team, is able to do many things at once, but chooses to delegate, is innovative and has a greater vision, likes to be the one to control innovation and be part of an evolution, is motivated by a strong vision and his passion to innovate and takes failure in stride and knows it will lead to success if correction can be made. Thank you for listening in our discussion. This is the end of our topic about the introduction to technopreneurship.